Hi there, it's Myrna Loy um, of Dark Shades and this video is about why black women don't want black men anymore. Um, I think black men think that they don't want us. <laughs> it's really bizarre. I think they think that they're rejecting us and we're sitting here all by ourselves, you know, biting our nails and we're all feeling sad and lonely and rejected. But the weird thing is, it's not that, it's, it's a choice. We've decided, or black women have decided, that they're not gonna be putting up with the bad mouths, the weakness, the unreliability, the lies, um, and the lack of stability. Um, when I, I always put a disclaimer that I'm not referring to all black men because we have some wonderful black men who are in long-standing relationships. I'm talking about these ones that are writing, writing these comments and making it look like they don't want us. Those are the ones I'm referring to. The ones who call us names and all sorts and think that they're putting us under some kind of punishment. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, a lot of women not only would they would not touch them with a barge pole, but I think that is why they're so angry. I think they know that black women that don't want them. And I don't and I and I think they know that black women don't want them because they are not stepping up to the plate and they're not worthy. I mean, to have a black woman, you have to be worthy. You have to be a particular type of black man. And to manage a black woman, you have to be a particular type of black man. Now, a lot of black men, especially those from the Caribbean and Africa, they're very masculine. And yes, they have their little um, precarious ways where they go off with other women and stuff. But by and large, they know how to provide and look after a woman. And you'll find them in some long standing relationships. But you can get a lot of other um black men who do not know how to step up to the plate and because they don't want to and they resent having to they get angry because we're not accepting them when they when they're not trying and that's all there is to it I mean they don't want to be told if you even if you try to help them they don't want to know if you're offering them advice or if you're trying to support them they they you just met with arrows and darts and goodness knows what and, you know, some of the name calling, it's like I can imagine when um, Jesus was taken off to Gethsemane to be um, crucified on the cross. And you had all of those Pharisees saying, crucify him, crucify him. And that's what it's like. You get these men saying, you're this, you're that. You know, we hate you. Death to black women, death to all black women. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. That's not normal behaviour. They're mentally ill. And where is that resentment coming from? It's not coming from a few black women who've been on TV and who've um, said something bad about black men. That is not where it's coming from. The hostility and anger that's coming from these black men is deep rooted. And it's, I don't know, you know, some of them are not going to admit that it's mummy issues. If it's not mummy issues, who is it? Because that, for it to be that deep seated, it has to have been, have, something must have happened when you were young. And maybe, I don't know if it's somebody they met with. I mean, but who knows? Who cares? Regardless, you know, we can't spend our time to, trying to rationalise their behaviour. What's going to happen is there's going to come a time when there's going to be a divide, whether it's through Trump, whether it's through um, the segregation that they're doing in Brexit. There's going to be a time when blacks are going to have to stick with blacks and whites are going to have to stick with whites, whether you like it or not. And you know what's going to happen? All those white, all those white women that you've been hanging on to, they're just gonna go onto their side. You think they're gonna leave um, the, all these white people for you? They're not, because all you are, you're just a stud to them. You're just a sex tool. That's all they're using you for. They don't really care about you. 
So they're just using you for a sex tool. And what's going to happen is, is that when, when you need support and help, you're going to be left alone. How does that make you feel? And why? Because you're so damn stubborn. You won't listen and you, you know, you won't listen to people who are trying to help you. So you think everybody's out to get you. You don't even listen to what people are saying. You just jump to conclusions and, you know, make your little smart remarks, which aren't really smart at all. And it's such a shame. You know, a lot of people say, well, black men are liars. I, I, I'm not going to condone that because I believe that, you know, everybody's a liar. Everybody tells a lie at some point in their lives. You know, but I do think that this hostility that they have is uncalled for and unnecessary. So that is what I will make a stand for. And these men who are doing that, they have got a serious problem. And I can understand why black women are backed off from them and don't want to have anything to do with them. So don't get it twisted. Don't make it look like you're the ones that are rejecting us. You know that's not true. That's why you're angry. You know it's because the women don't want you. That's why you're angry. That could be the only reason why you're angry, because otherwise, where's all that hostility and anger coming from? If you had a choice and you're with the one you love, you're with your white woman or whoever you're with and you're happy and you're settled down and you're living a lovely life, why would you be slagging black women off? Why would you be doing that? Unless you have a secret desire to be with one. Hmm, try and get out of that one, mate. Let me just stop this now.